Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Asia Marka here, Lemon Creation. And today I'm gonna be painting three abstract pages, painting and doodling uh, actually. Plus, uh, I have an unboxing of a beautiful uh, watercolor tube uh, paints from Xiaomi. So my beautiful tribe. I am not exactly sure how I should pronounce the name of the watercolor um, paints. Uh, Xiaomi or Xiaomi, they are the um, sister brand of uh, Paul Rubens watercolors. And I'm really happy I was gifted uh, these 24 tubes of watercolor paints and I'm very happy to try them out because lately I am a little bit crazy about watercolors. So uh, I jump on every... <laughs> beautiful offer like that and um, just try the watercolors and uh, these were not a disappointment at all uh, on the contrary uh, I actually enjoy them uh, using them and swatching them and later painting my three abstract pages I didn't know actually when I was opening the box if I'm gonna paint something with them or if I'm maybe gonna mix them to make um, the mix of uh, like homemade watercolor paints because um, this actually which is super cool about tubes, about watercolor in tubes. So here I'm showing you I have 24 colors. Uh, and yes, these are a Chinese company. Uh, and here are the colors which um, do not actually look uh, too much onto the uh, watercolors here because the swatches look a little bit different like always with almost all the colors. So it's the best way is to make your own colors, uh, no, your own swatches. But um, the thing is that I was thinking that maybe I'll make some watercolors like homemade by mixing the uh, some of the colors and making my own uh, palette. Uh, and this is what is so cool about watercolor tubes. In general, you can actually uh, mix the colors so much better than if you use the pans uh, of watercolors. Anyway, I think so, <laughs> because uh, simply it's uh, much easier for you to, to just uh, remove the paints and just mix them. So they are coming uh, in the very nice box. Uh, well, just a box, uh, nothing special here. The tubes are quite big. They are, if I'm not mistaken, 12 milliliters. And uh, yes, they are like uh, any other tubes, so nothing special about that. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, you're gonna see the colors, they are quite nice. Here you can see also they are giving you the pigments uh, they were used to create uh, each color, which is super cool, especially for the artists, which are a little bit more advanced than me. For me, uh, still these things do not tell too much because I am really like uh, not an expert on watercolors. But I wanted to also show you that I purchased and I'm gonna give you a link in the description box below. Uh, I purchased this uh, empty uh, palette and I have few of them. And they are so super cool because they are uh, uh, they come with empty pans which you can uh, fill up to your pleasure and those are uh, my homemade mix of colors but even Schminke look at that guys even uh, Schminke has a uh, box like that they are super handy uh, they are working with uh, some sort of small magnet at the um, bottom of the pan and you can just uh, you know put as many as you want inside and then just mix and match so this is so super cool and I knew that for these paints uh, I'm not gonna be using tubes uh, like you know um, for everyday use uh, because I prefer to actually put the paints into the pans and I'm showing you here I have a magnet I actually had some kind of like a magnet sheet and I cut it and put double-sided tape and um, just put it at the bottom of the pans so like that they do not fall <laughs> And uh, but some of them they are coming already with magnets, so it's voila, it's the, depending uh, what you buy. But um, as I mentioned earlier, I am not gonna be using the um, the watercolors from the tube because I think 
you waste too much if you want to paint something um, and then opening and closing uh, tubes is not super um, handy maybe and sometimes it happened to me that I didn't close them well so I can actually put them all inside the pants, um, pants <laughs> make the uh, swatches and like that when they are dry I can always uh, add some water and start using them so that's what I've done here and I left the big pans uh, in the middle because I thought to myself that one of those days I'm gonna make some mixes with those colors to make some earthy tones or uh, whichever colors I found uh, like I want to have but uh, for now I just um, I just put all of the colors all of the 24 colors into the pans and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of swatching and I have to tell you 24 colors uh, they all match perfectly and uh, there was not one color which was um, I don't know dry or whatever so uh, for now I'm quite happy with it and I actually cut out the part when I was making the swatches because I didn't want to put you through the whole video which lasts uh, one hour, I don't know. And so I, uh, I'm i just showing you, um, you know, that I put the title on the paper and then I'm going to be actually creating um, the uh, abstract pages. But before that, just have a small peek at the swatches and there they are. They are beautiful colors. And actually I made a small... Um, how do you call it? Small squares on the side because uh, at the uh, on the tubes you have um, um, you have these uh, square things which are showing you the transparency of the colors. So most of those colors are uh, fully transparent, and there are few uh, which are um, opaque, but not that many. I think four or five colors. Otherwise, uh, really uh, very, very nice colors, very rich pigmented, I think, to my um, very like uh, unprofessional eye still, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I repeat that all, all over again, that I am not an expert in watercolors. I like to use watercolors, which I can use freely and without any um, issues. And those are the ones which I do not have any issues with and I created three different pages using in total I think six colors and I hope yes I think I remember them all so I'm gonna give you the uh, colors in the description box uh, below so like that you will know um, what color I was using for uh, creating these three abstract pages. Do you know I still have um, quite a big issues with the color combos I am choosing and very often I am uh, coming from the side uh, really of my brain uh, like uh, you know I kind of think like for example um, I don't know yellow and uh, green will go well together um, red and uh, orange will go well together so I'm kind of like uh, almost boring with the choice of colors but lately I am trying um, to push myself a little bit um, you know out of my comfort zone if it comes to the um, choosing the colors but as you can see here, I failed miserably because <laughs> I went actually with the colors which go well together. So, you know, I didn't have this problem of overthinking if they're going to make mat if I mix them together. Uh, but yes, I would like so much to actually uh, let it go a little bit and just go with the feeling and just um, take a chance and, um, and, uh, and just go with the colors. I feel like, you know, they may not go well together. But um, honestly, my problem is the lack of time. And uh, I wish I could spend more time on uh, watching um, other artists' tutorials and uh, learning a little bit more of the colors, uh, how they react together. I just do not really uh, manage with the shop I'm um, dealing with. And, uh, and yes, and the videos and, uh, you know, social media, it takes me uh, so much time that I uh, actually fancy learning things and I feel like I do not have enough time. So I went for the colors which are actually um, going well together. 
Although I think I've never, oh no, maybe I done, I've done it but uh, a long time ago, but uh, the color combo of uh, brown and yellow, hmm, this is not my traditional color combo, I have to say, but oh, it's so beautiful. And yes, I'm uh, showing you the um, names of the um, tubes I use or the uh, paints I use. One was Cambodge, the other Van Dyke Brown. And on the first one I had, uh, on this one I had, yes, Purple uh, Lake and Indigo. So, and the first one, I was thinking is kind of um, very messy, almost. And the way my abstract is kind of messy. And I didn't know what to do, but I wanted to check how the uh, paints react with the salt. Uh, and uh, yes, that's what I've done. I sprinkled my grain, uh, or big grain salts, or um, I don't know, big grain, I think it's not maybe a good, um, good wording here, but yes. Uh, and I let it dry. And here it is, the third one. And the third one, uh, once again, uh, <laughs> I went for the very, very simple mix of colors. So I went for the, I think, uh, lemon green and green. I'm going to show you guys also the colors. And I wanted to ju do just that. I was not sure what's going to happen. And uh, then I realized that I probably made too many dots. But I absolutely love uh, watching how they disperse in the water. So once I went for it, I couldn't stop. And so here is my second color. <laughs> I mean, I didn't take any risks here. And I was not sure if I'm making a, an egg or whatever that is. And quite often I am a little bit lost. I, uh, As I mentioned to you guys, I overthink uh, uh, a lot. Uh, but I was very happy because I got this kind of like a, a pigment which kind of stuck to the paper. You know, you can see uh, the small stain uh, somewhere on the left hand side of the egg. Let's call it egg. And I really like that. It's almost the same effect as I get with the powders, you know, with the um, powder paints that sometimes they do not dissolve completely with water. I was trying to recreate this effect right now. It didn't work but uh, or didn't work uh, as well but i really love this uh, stain and then i decided that i'll just dab off the excess of the paint with the tissue and i know that takes off the paint that takes off the color but at the same time that gives me a beautiful texture look at that guys and that's why i also love about these paints in particular they are very very um, uh, to me uh, very well pigmented and look at that, after drying, the colors are just beautiful. So I'm really, really happy with it. And here we go, my three abstract pages. And uh, I was not sure uh, what to do if I should leave them like that. But I said to myself that uh, if I just leave them like that, I will probably never come back to them. So I'd rather finish them. And I am very happy because there is one of all these three pages, which is my absolute favorite. And I am wondering which one is yours and if it's the same page. Uh, so I'm not going to actually tell you which one. So uh, if you don't mind, leave me a comment. And in the comment, tell me which one is your favorite one and which do you think is mine. Uh, and yes, I absolutely love the, uh, um, the pages uh, at the end. But uh, yes, this, this one in particular is, uh, is my favorite. Uh, I'm using my Ohuhu um, fine liners. Uh, if you watch my uh, latest video, um, you know that I was gifted uh, a lot of Ohuhu uh, art products, uh, amongst them the markers, which I'm using right now. And I actually decided to keep them nicely in the pouch they came with and just uh, use them like that. And just really take care uh, of them because I know that uh, with some of my markers I do not take, or fine liners rather, I do not take a proper care. And, but uh, I love these ones and uh, yes, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to uh, really take care of them. Which means that there is no more uh, drawing on the wet surface <laughs> or half wet uh, and on the surface with a texture. Even though I actually add some lines or some, you know, uh, doodling to the uh, violet page, which had the uh, traces of salt in it, but I removed the salt uh, very well. So I, I think there was nothing left. 
So as you can see, I changed my egg into something completely different, some kind of, I have no idea, a stone or whatever. <laughs> Very abstract. So um, I'm sure you see things in, uh, in it that I won't see or I won't think about. And that's what I love also because uh, very often you leave me a comment saying, oh, I see that in it. Or for me, that there is, uh, you know, that resembles uh, something, uh, you know, else, which you, I don't think actually. Uh, so this is really nice also. Uh, that's why I like to do abstract because, you know, everybody sees something different in it, which is super cool. And here I started with the lines, but uh, the lines actually um, uh, didn't work for me. I said to myself, no, there shouldn't be lines because the whole painting is so not linear. Can I say linear? I think. And so the lines didn't match there at all. So I decided to add a little bit of stones in the white spaces. Then I also got very upset with the, you know, there is a line I made between um, two uh, lines, just this one in the middle, which I really, really didn't like. And I thought it doesn't match the, um, the drawing, the abstract at all. So I decided to add a little bit more to, you know, to just not leave just one line like that, which doesn't match anything. And I thought this was not a bad idea <laughs> because at the end, I prefer actually uh, this, uh, this abstract the way it is right now than it was before. So finally, my lines made a little bit more sense. Uh, so this is it basically. And then the third one. And I have to tell you really, for me, abstract is, I was even thinking maybe I should go on Pinterest and have a look at the watercolor abstracts. I find them and get a little bit of, you know, uh, borrow a little bit of uh, uh, other artists ideas. But I said to myself, no, I have to actually uh, just go with uh, wherever I feel like, even if I feel like I'm repeating myself again and again, um, you know, making dots and lines and this is probably my style and that's it. And so I just went uh, with it and uh, I actually have to tell you, I really enjoyed yeah, the process was so nice and so calming. And lately I don't have time. I am going a little bit crazy. I don't have too much uh, time to post the videos even. And so spending a little bit of time, you know, working um, a little bit of abstract art and some doodling, it's actually quite calming to me. So here, mm -hmm, a lot of dots, uh, but I use, I think, um, a 0 0.5 um, marker number, fine liner number. And uh, yes, I made the dots and I kind of uh, came with the idea that it looks actually like a sunset. And uh, look at that, guys, also uh, how beautiful the two colors uh, reacted with each other uh, because I didn't wait until one dries before putting a... Uh, on the paper, the other color, the yellow one, and they made such a nice um, kind of stains. I don't know the proper word for that. And just beside my fingers here, you can uh, you could see now you cannot anymore, but a small uh, like pigmented part, which is almost like um, orange one, which looks also very nice, adds a little bit of interest to the abstract. So this is it in this video. Thank you so much Kiao Mei for sponsoring this video. And I'm sorry if I don't pronounce the name correctly, but every language has its own, uh, you know, ways of pronunciation. And um, I actually Google it to try to find the good pronunciation and I cannot find it. Um, but you've seen the name at least, you know how it's written and I'm gonna give you a link in the description box below also. To these paints. Uh, yes, for now I'm happy with them. As always, we'll see in time, but uh, why not? They are a nice, um, you know, affordable paints and they are quite uh, like with, uh, they have vivid colors, which is super nice. So that's it in this video from me. I'll be very happy if you leave me a comment telling me which one is uh, your favorite, um, your favorite abstract. If you tried already um, these watercolor tubes, and as always, if you are for a lookout uh, for some stencils and stamps, please have a look in my shop. I'm gonna give you a link in the description box below and in the pinned comment. Comment, not comment. <laughs> 
Thank you so much once again for watching. Um, thank you, Kiao Mei, for sponsoring this video. And um, yes, thank you so much for being here, guys, with me. It means a lot. I know I'm not very regular with the uh, videos lately, but uh, yes, I'm kind of running on fumes. Uh, I'll try to be better. Uh, meanwhile, I wish you a beautiful day and I hope I'm gonna see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.